Fisher action, October 26th. You know the drill, timestamps are gonna be below in the comments. Let's get started with the first song of the week, Siren by the Chainsmokers and Azar. This song was played at Ultra, so your boy's got the inside of this drop. That's the Azar synth. Ain't nothing simpler than just Azar. When I think Chase Smokers and Azar, I basically think of this song where you just take the Azar trap lead and then you add in the Chase Smokers sensible vocals and interludes. And again, I am surprised of how well the Chase Smokers style goes into trap. It's not necessarily anything too new. I like the Nightmare collaboration with the Chainsmokers a little bit more just because it seemed more original. Next up is Space Jam by Louie the Child. Those are those chords! Pomo! Darius! Funky. Meaty. Groovy chords. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, this is an ad. I love this. Hard AF. Louis the Child. I know the Louis the Child's main interest is kind of blending hip hop and dance music, but as far as a track without vocals, it's very accessible. Super cool song. All the samples are really dope, whether it's like the scratching or the kids playing. Create a really nice atmosphere. Really big fan of the song. Next up is Red Line by Snails and Boogie T. I don't know. When people do the Jamaican thing, it makes me uncomfortable. Hard drop though. Snail's bass, like all snail's basses, super mean, awesome, cool dubstep, drops. However, I found the interlude and the vocal, even like that melody during the interludes just to be really annoying, like not even annoying, just really cheesy. Like it had this weird like a rock, even country song and like a Jamaican reggae vibe. I know artists like those reggae sort of drums, but this just came off even more inauthentic than a lot of other dubstep songs. Next up is Happy Now by Kaigo. What is happy? It's Kaigo. This vocalist has definitely done a couple of itchy songs. Avicii. I'm saying Avicii, all right? Ooh, I like this. It's very mature sounding compared to some other, other Kaigo songs. Wow. Wow. Everything about this song, this is interesting. Kaigo this is very interesting. Ah, oh, this is so cute. <laughs> solid, solid. I don't know what to be able to replace Avicii, right? Like, that band was like the heart of EDM, literally. But as far as carrying that torch, at least keeping that energy, very sincere sounding dance music, I could see Kaigo definitely at least carrying some of that burden. Kaigo, I like it, I dig it. It's a good temple for Kaigo. Really big fan of this song. Next up is Control by Ghastly. Mean AF. It's kind of lazy. Just like, not much going on in the interlude except for so some sample. You know, uh, you know, I've been thinking about this for a long time and it's time for me to make my decision. I like when Gas makes house music more than makes dubstep. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I, don't, I, didn't, I know that's gonna offend some people. They're just not as complex and interesting as maybe, you know, a virtual riot dubstep drop per se. If you really like dubstep, you might enjoy it, but it's not pushing the boundaries really that much, especially from what I would say some of Gas's house songs do. Next up is Remember by Griffin. House Griffin.
Hey, how's Griffin? How's Griffin? Drop not pushing any boundaries, but the layering with the vocal is really good. And I definitely can see this being sent as maybe a future bass vocal, but he just went with the D plus direction. Cool change up. This song is About You by Abstract. A little house joint. Nothing too interesting so far. I think now those samples are pretty average drums. I'll sit back down in my chair. Have tried taking us to school real quick. Kind of wish there was a more prevalent thing going on. I saw the drops. Same so thing sort of happened with the Josh Pan track, I think. It was just sort of dark, but kind of dull. Half track was definitely going for like a more dark and moody track, but it didn't really have too many like things that caught my ears as far as those more conceptual elements go. The drops themselves were pretty cool. I didn't expect the trap drop in the first drop, which definitely would work really well at a half track show because he's playing mostly house and then that comes on and everyone loses their minds. You know, in the past year or two years, half track has proven to me that he can make that sort of next level stuff where I can get really wild by this and this is not necessarily it. So pass for me. Uh, much better Hapshark songs that I'm aware of. So next song is Meaning Lost All Words by Matt Zo. Hey, let's open it up! Oh, he's gonna get into this boy, oh. That's a nice clap. A little big crush on there. A lot of pretty shit going on. Holy... Layers, baby! <laughs> Whew. Oh my god, those melodies and chords, and it was so housey and fun. And I think the best part of all, I think the song is really healing. Pushing in that zone, that good zone, that good feeling zone. God, I'm speechless, I'm so excited about this song. We're gonna go on the next song, Whip It by Kirby. Kirby, you are the loudest person on spinning. Or what is this song? Dim Mac? Oh, it's gonna be even more dark and evil and scary. Shark style! Was that a dog blood sample? Super hard. Someone showed us the Jaws. This fits right into his label, I think, and his sound. If you like crazy, good bass house. And now he's on Dimac, so it's gonna be interesting to see if he makes more interesting crazy shit. Next up is Fire In My Soul by Oliver Heldens. Feel the tropically grooviness. Ooh. The blur, the line between high low and Oliver Helms is like being crossed though. Pretty heavily lately. This fits right into what Oliver Helms has been up to lately. Just funky, fun house music that, you know, when you think of the music, you think of like Pink Flamingos and other weird shit. So if you've been a fan of what Oliver Helms has been up to in the past year, you're gonna like the song quite a bit. Next up is Death Wish by Wave Dash. It's the first release on the Nightmare Slender label, Good Vibrations. Okay. Let's right, see what the double drop can do. Oh, same thing. Ooh, okay. It's just not new sounding enough, especially for the first track of a new label. You want it to be very unique. Both these drops, I've heard them before. 
not only by Wave Dash, but by other contemporaries. A little disappointed by this release. Last song is Runaway by Manila Killa. Is this him singing? Sounds like a M83 type thing. Nice. Oh, this is very pretty. Vanilla Killer would come with the pretty stuff again. Ah, ha, ha. Liddy! Turn it! Cool, liberating, freeing song by. Manila Killa. I like the little hip hop switch up halfway through the song, but overall just very lush sounding and musical, like very catchy. I like the hook, dope song. So that was all the brand new EDM for this week. I thought Kygo, Kirby, Matt Zoe killed it this week as far as my personal favorites, but let me know what you guys thought about the songs below. This has been the EDM first reaction for October 26, 2018. I'll catch you guys next time.